Hey folks, Masako X here. I'm not in the best of conditions right now, I've got a little bit of a sore throat. Even though after I recorded three videos, which is probably not the best of ideas, but while I was just tearing everything down after a recording session, I found on my Twitter feed that a mainstream UK band had put out on their YouTube channel a song about Dragon Ball. And I'm not talking about, oh, just one casual reference. No, the song title is actually called Dragon Ball. Um, by the way, just in case you weren't really sure whether it was Dragon Ball, th this is the actual song cover. It's a robot monkey. Yeah. Monkey. Saiyans. Did you get it? Um, okay. Uh, back to the video. I looked up the history on it, and this was a demo that they had made 10 years ago or something like that, just for like a casual EP or somewhere. But now, they've mastered it, re-recorded it, and presented it to the world. It's available on streaming platforms, so if you want to go and have a listen to this song, I'll leave a link to the premiered video in the description. But I need to actually watch this and see it for myself, and this is, just doesn't often happen, Dragon Ball making the mainstream, or something that is actually quite popular. I remember a band like ages ago, like nearly 20 years ago at this point, called Fightstar, and they did a song called Grand Unification, and in the music video, the original music video, obviously they had to change it because you know who got in the way. Uh, there were margin symbols, projections from the Boo Saga, and the bassist, I believe Dan Haig, he follows me on Twitter, on his actual guitar in that music video is the margin symbol. So they are deep Dragon Ball fans. I don't know how much of a fan Dragon Ball's front men are, but they made a song called about Dragon Ball and Apparently, it must have something to do with it, because otherwise, why would you call it that? Well, let's, uh, let's play. So, already, grand piano there. So, it's, it's going to be like one of those studio things, so... It's quite deep for what it is. So, already, it's alright. Okay. Um, so far, I'm not really getting Dragon Ball vibes. It's quite wistful. I mean, it's almost like Romantica Geroyo. So, like, very introspective at this point. But it's not really... It's not picking me up at the moment. So, okay. Oh, yeah. It's a drop. Yeah, here we go. That's McFly that I remember. Yeah, it's about right. Okay, I was a little bit unsure about it initially, but like, okay, now I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. Yeah, here we go. This is more like it. And I, th I think the drummer's actually wearing a Goku cap. That's the turtle school thing. Let's see if we can get another shot of it. I th yeah, I think so. If you look carefully. Yeah. Yeah, okay, this is good. This is alright. It's like not full on rock, it's not indie or something like that, but yeah. Gonna mention it. Yeah, there we go. Came up about a minute and 41 seconds in. So, hey, they're, they're looking for the Dragon Balls. I mean, it's not as obvious as Dragon Ball. Gotta find that Dragon Ball! Yeah, it's not as obvious, but here we go, there we go. Yeah, this is actually becoming more likely. Yeah, that's actually Goku! Okay, that's actually... Yeah. Yeah, okay. This feels like more like what Dragon Ball is, because, you know, Goku's not exactly a hero. But does his best to protect his friends. This makes sense. I mean, I like it. It's somewhat in tune. Especially, no. I mean, you could do better than what Oolong did and, you know, get undergarments and stuff like that. And this is just like your casual, oh, we can't really make a proper music video for it. So let's just jam to it and just see us enjoying making this. Yeah. Get the choir in. Get the choir in, get the chanting. There you go. This is very much like a Japanese song. 
Here's the quiet bit before going back into the main chorus. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, this is coming up towards the end. This feels somewhat in keeping with it, so... I've got no complaints about it, really. It's it's not like a proper banger, but it's certainly... Uh, I like it. So that was my reaction to McFly's Dragon Ball, and I'm looking at the lyrics right now on azlyrics.com, and yeah, there are lyrics like, The world is on my shoulders, so much pressure to prevail. That is somewhat true. Again, moon and suns collide. You know, the moon, you know, Goku turning into a great ape and stuff like that. And, yeah, I'm just looking through all the lyrics here, and it does feel, it feels like something that would easily have been an intro for Dragon Ball back in the day, before we actually got authentic Japanese stuff. So, if this were 2001 or something like that, and if this the song was around, I, as an executive doing the UK release of Dragon Ball Z, I would probably look to this, because... Rock the Dragon is good, but if you want to have something quite hype and something relevant to the UK market, yeah, McFly is a good bet. I mean, that is definitely a really good track. And for one, I, you know, I think it's all right. It's a good banger. I wouldn't say this is cringy at the very least. You could easily make this something quite cringy, but it's not. <laughs> I see very cringy songs about Dragon Ball, but this ain't one of them, Chief. And if you want to check out Fight Star, which was another one I recommended, do give them a look because it's really, really quite into it. Uh, I would say this is a good 7 out of 10, 6.5. Yeah, I, I, I liked it. It was something quite good. It's not enough to really get me buzzing, but it's certainly something I'm really glad I found. I'm glad that it exists and it's been now brought to market. And McFly, not bad. Solid job. Uh, this is coming from a Dragon Ball YouTuber in the UK. And it's nice to see that McFly are trying some new stuff these days. Cool. Anyway, that's my reaction to this song. Do check out the full music video or stream it on Spotify, or Apple Music, wherever you get it. These are title, I don't know. But yeah, solid job. Solid job there indeed. And I hope you're all doing well today. And I shall see you again very soon for the next video. Until then, everyone, do stay safe. And I'll catch you later.